to our YouTube channel Applied Forensic Science for Justice Student Group. This is Ashna Kumari, Applied Forensic Science for Justice Student Group volunteer, present here the introduction to glass evidence in crime scene. Content. So the topic to be covered in this video are definition of glass evidence, types of glass, collection and preservation of glass evidence fractures in crime scene let's begin with the definition of glass evidence glass is an amorphous which is a shapeless hard brittle substance which is usually transparent and also opaque at times glass is the fusion of sand sio2 and soda Na2CO3 that produces a transparent solid when cooled. Glass is the 3D network of atoms which leads the repeated orderly arrangements of typical of crystalline material. Next is types of glass. First is borosilicate glass which is also known as pyrex which is made up of 5% of borax Na2B4 O7 is added to resist breaking when heated or cooled. Second is colored glass which is made up of metal oxides or colloidal iron or sulfur are added to change its color. Third is lead glass. Lead increases reflective index and density. Next is flat glass. Flat glass made by float glass process, molten glass is floated on a pool of a tin while cooling, commonly found in the door and window, used as resistors for electronic circuits. Next is laminated glass, used in windshield two sheeted of glass with plastic between them. Tempered safety glass, used in car side windows and designed to break into tiny pieces. Potassium replaces sodium on the surface. Next is types of glass fracture. So first is radial fracture, second is concentric fracture, and third is broken edge, and fourth is cone fracture. So radial in radial fracture, form first and are propagated in short segments on the side opposite the force applied. And concentric fracture come later from continued pressure on the same side as the force applied. And third is broken edges. They will show rib which is also known as stress, stress marks. Fourth is cone fracture. Tracks in the cone shape and breaks by tension not compression are known as cone fracture. Now let's begin with the collection and preservation of glass evidence fracture in crime scene. So first the glass fragment should be packaged in boxes to avoid further breakage. Next is if evidence is to be examined for glass fragments it should be taken whole and each item individually wrapped in paper and boxed. Next is dust of glass collected using vacuum cleaner. Next is if even the remotest possibly exist, that glass fragment may be placed together. Every effort must be made to collect all glass fragments. Next is submit glass evidences along with the representative sample of each type of glass from the crime scene. Thank you for watching the video. For more such informative video, subscribe our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you don't miss our upcoming videos.